Well, those are the roots. Those are the fun days. Those are the days that uh, we, uh, that I enjoyed. Uh, I was in the band, and uh, we did. Band was like a family. We were, we were one big happy family. We traveled. We did a lot of things. We went to Prairie We participated in marching. We participated in concert, and uh, I played the oboe. And also, uh, during uh, marching season, sometimes I played the contrabass clarinet. So, Anderson means a lot to me. That's where I got most of my training. If it wasn't from Anderson, it was at church for me. You know, Anderson, I got a lot of information. But it was family. The teachers actually cared. The teachers taught. They didn't, uh, they weren't afraid of the students and uh, they had held themselves in high esteem. Uh, you actually said Mr. and Mrs. and meant it. And you followed instructions from those people. Uh, they knew your parents, and they were not afraid to call your parents and tell them what you've done, <coughs> what you didn't do. So uh, Anderson was like, a, as I said, a family. and. Um, we knew everybody, everybody. And in the class. We, we were just one cohesive group. And as I said, the teachers taught, the principal did, um, they, they administrative, and they knew the kids by names, and they were not afraid, but then also they weren't trying to be your friends, they were trying to be administrators. They were uh, conservative. Uh, to, when I mean conservative means that they they were uh, they they didn't they dressed uh, appropriately and when I said appropriately you respected them you knew that they were teachers you didn't confuse them with students you didn't see teachers walking down the hall with shorts on you didn't see teachers uh, uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know but the teachers were just good and they taught. And they uh, and you listen. The teachers seemed to have gotten it along with each other. I, I don't know. It just seemed like it. They uh, they talked to each other and they knew. So it was just a, a big happy family. They just knew each other and there was seemed like they were just uh, a good communication and a good uh, good fit between the teachers and the students. Oh, when I was in the band and I played the solo, uh, at uh, during I had a piece in one of the main uh, concert uh, performances that we had, and I uh, as the oboe player, I was the lead oboe player, and I, I uh, played it. He said I was the only person that had ever done that before. Mr. Patterson did. I mean, I did it. <laughs> and I also, we had an assembly and I took Spanish and Mr. Whitby, he was a Spanish teacher, let me do the Lord's Prayer in Spanish and I can't do it now, but I did then. I thought, that was, that was good. I enjoyed that one. I lived in Clarksville in West Austin. That was across, <coughs> went in uh, Lamar up the hill and to the end of the street of 12th Street. The end of 12th Street West, I lived uh, there. And there was an African American community, and it was a cohesive community, and everybody knew each other, of course. And that's where I grew up. Well, in high school with my grandmother. In earlier days, I lived with my mother on the east side. The main thing was the band. And that was just like a club to itself. I don't know if you remember that or you know that, but the band, if you were in the band, you were somebody. And uh, so, yes, I was in the band. Been in the band since I was started playing when I was in the sixth grade at L.A. Campbell. And I played at Keeling, and then, of course, I went on to Anderson. Uh, the two teachers, Mr. the two Patterson, the brothers, one taught at uh, Keeling, and the other one taught Alan I mean, Roy taught at Keeling and Alvin taught at Anderson. So, of course, they talked and they knew. They knew about us. And so, it was a wonderful feeling. We enjoyed it. I enjoyed it.